you tell that my mouth was watering hey everybody it's a what i eat in a day i just showed you how i prepared my breakfast that's that watercress salad with a little bit of baby spinach and then i started off with a base of cream cheese like a very thin base not don't go crazy okay we're trying to still eat clean and still be right so a very thin base of cream cheese and then a little bit of guacamole on top of that then i added the little watercress salad I can't wait to eat this. I'm going to eat this here, yeah. okay? Then I added the watercress salad, then I said the bacon, then I went the egg, and then I drizzled on some cranberries uh, mixed with a little bit of raisins for sweetness, and then I, on the side, just added a little bit of blueberries. So, clean breakfast. Got a nice um, coffee going. Delicious. So, we're going to do a taste. This was supposed to actually be on a bagel, hence the cream cheese, but I couldn't find the bagel in my local bakery. I had arrived too late. I was coming from the gym and they literally knocked them out. So we're gonna do a taste of a little bit of everything, as you know, I normally do. So we got the blueberry there, we got the blueberry, we got the toast, we got the bacon, we got a bit of the egg, we got the spinach and the watercress, let's go. <laughs> don't ask me how I come up with this stuff I don't know I'm just thinking oh this is good please try this at home please try this at home oh this is good so these are normally things that I normally have in the house um, the only thing I had to go out and buy thank you Thank you. The only thing I had to go out and buy was the blueberries because I was typically out and I knew I wanted to film what I eat in a day. Um, there's another dish later on, or like a snack later on that's going to involve the blueberries. So everything else I pretty much always have, always have in the house. Mm -hmm. Mm-mm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. It is incredible and I can taste the cream cheese. I'm tasting the guac. I opted to go with guac as opposed to avocados, which I do have in the house. Um, but the avocados will last a little bit longer than the guac will. So I figured that, you know what, let me just have guac for that taste of ever, which I normally like in my breakfast. Do you guys know this? Mm -hmm. Honey, I am telling you. Mmm! What do you even mean? Alright. You guys know how I do it. It's delicious. I really hope you try this out. I don't even know how to call it. This is pretty much going to be my breakfast for the next couple of days. I really, really like this. Um, and besides, I need to finish all these ingredients and not waste them. I will check back with you guys in later when I have lunch, which might consist of a little bit of a snack, really. It's not going to be a full lunch because it is already 10 to 1 as we speak. So I typically eat late. You guys know this. But yeah, I'll see you a little bit later. Cheers. Cheers.
so this one is pretty much straightforward normally when I'm working which I am working right now um, I like to have a smoothie I really like to keep it simple especially around lunchtime if I'm feeling a little bit hungry um, it is right now half past three and when I ate my uh, breakfast dish it was around half past 12 quarter to one so i am feeling a little bit hungry but i don't really want to have fruits like a plate of fruits i was thinking of the guac as well and then i thought nah so this should tie me over until pretty much dinner time and for dinner this is what we're having oh where is she where is she where is she where is she for dinner we are gonna be having some salmon yeah this is where we at for dinner time this is where we at so yeah really really excited um definitely gonna have this on a bed of asparagus and oh you'll see you'll see you'll see what we're gonna have for dinner so yeah pretty much continue working as you saw in this was two um teaspoons of okay two teaspoons of greek yogurt um a whole lot of spinach because i am trying to eat my greens and i'm trying to eat clean so a, a whole lot of greens in a day is a very very good idea alternative choice to having just a bunch of sweet fruits and whatever so for me i'm trying to keep um greens in my lunch and my dinner portions of my day so this is my green intake for today and for sweetness a little bit of sweetness i included the mandarin um what do you call it the mandarin juice and it tastes pretty good looks very green but it's sweet to the taste so i can't even taste the spinach okay maybe you can a little bit but I like it. Okay, so I'm going to go continue working. I had to bring the blind down because the sun is actually quite strong at this time of the day coming in at this angle. Um, I'm going to go continue working and I'll check back with you guys a little bit later when we prepare the salmon. Okay.
that is pretty much my dinner i hope you guys enjoyed me preparing the meal for you of course i'm gonna taste it um i'm pretty familiar with the tastes but my, i just i don't do it for the channel so basically what i did here was a little bit of um asparagus on the side and then salmon on a bed of burglar wheat and mixed greens and then i drizzled on top a little bit of um balsamic reduction which was so it's so good um and then the spices that i use i will probably um write them down as i use them in the video so you know exactly what i used but for the asparagus i used a garlic and herb spice from ina palmen and then uh for the salmon i just used salt a little bit of salt a little bit of pepper and a little a dash of uh, fish spice as well so that's pretty much it I'm going to taste it for you now because I know. And then that glaze that I put on, that is the... <laughs> that glaze that I put on is the honey glaze. So, 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 so good. Uh, salmon goes well with the honey glaze as well. So, sweet, savory. Hey, hello, it works. So, I'm going to get a little bit of everything as I normally do. I'm going to see. So we've got a little bit of the asparagus. Let's see if it can zoom in on the food. Got a little bit of the asparagus, uh, the salmon, and the greens. I'm going to taste. Mmm. 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 Why didn't I become a chef? Mmm. Mm so so good and then of course i did the home the sugar-free mandarin freshly squeezed fruit juice um this is amazing the salmon is nice it's not too tough i had it on there it was still slightly frozen so i had it in the oven for a little bit longer um i put it in the oven for about 15 minutes and came out perfect came out perfect mmm mmm Mmm, that balsamic reduction for me, that was just topping it off though. Uh, the burglar wheat I added on top because just, I, I do eat my dinners quite early. It is, I think, past six right now, so I don't want to feel hungry later on. So I added it a little bit so that it can fill me up a little bit more. Still works because it is relatively healthy compared to rice and everything else that's full of carbs. <sighs> yeah. That's pretty much it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed just what I eat in a day. I'm gonna go relax, watch something great. I love to watch something while I eat. So I'm gonna do that. I hope you guys enjoyed this what I eat in a day. And if you want to see more of these, subscribe to the channel and let me know in the comments down below. We're trying to get to 16,000. No, we're trying to get to 20,000 subscribers by June so that I can do a big birthday giveaway. So definitely do subscribe. And yeah, I'll see you in the next What I Eat in a Day video, whatever. Take care and I'll see you soon.